What do you say, folks? Do you believe in P.J. Fleck? Do you believe in Minnesota in 2019? Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, previewing as many games as we can get to in week one, including the Golden Gophers opening on Thursday night at home against South Dakota State. Uh, South Dakota State, 10-3, uh, 6-2 and six and two in FCS play last year. They made it all the way to the semifinals of playoff action. Yes, they actually play playoffs in the FCS, and they lost to North Dakota State 44-21. The Jackrabbits bring back another really good team in John Stiegelmeyer's 22nd year. He's won 158 games. He's lost 100. And uh, you can catch this matchup against Minnesota uh, Thursday night, 9 o'clock Eastern time on FS1. All right, uh, the Jackrabbits uh, live up to their name on offense. They can run. Uh, they were fifth in FCS in scoring, 43 points per game. Uh, the defense not quite as good at uh, number 25 in the nation, uh, giving up 22 points per game. They lose their quarterback in Taron Christian. He accounted for a ton of yardage and touchdowns. Uh, he might be the best quarterback in school history. But they bring back a wealth of running back talent and wide receiver talent. Their top three running backs are back. Pierre Strong gained over 1,000 yards and 9.5 yards per carry in 10 touchdowns. Micah Daniel, 10 touchdowns as well. C.J. Wilson averaged 6.5 yards per carry. Those guys are all back. Their top two wide receivers come back, including Kay Johnson. Get this. Kay Johnson had 1,332 yards and 17 touchdown catches. Adam Anderson, 47 catches and 7 touchdowns. But who's going to get the ball to these playmakers? They bring in redshirt freshman quarterback Jabor Gibbs to get the job done and keep their playoff hopes alive. All right, let's talk Gophers and P.J. Fleck. What a season they had. Coming off a dismal 5-7 and seven performance the year before, only 2-7 and seven in the Big Ten. They got off to a bad start in the Big Ten, 0-4 this past season, but righted the ship in November. They beat Purdue 41-10. They beat uh, Wisconsin by three touchdowns. They won a bowl game over Georgia Tech by 24 points. This is all after they fired their defensive coordinator, Rob Smith, after they gave up 55 points and a zillion yards rushing to Illinois. They bring in uh, Joe Rossi to run the defense. They win all those games, and they brought him back as defensive coordinator. Smart move. Uh, the defense uh, lost their two top tacklers and also their two space eaters at D-Tackle. They do bring back uh, Carter Coughlin. He's one of the best in the Big Ten with 100 and uh, plus 100 tackles, uh, 15 tackles for loss, and 9.5 and sacks. And also they're going to be pleased to bring back Antoine Winfield, who missed just about all of 2018 and uh, was emerging as one of the best DBs in the conference in 2017. All right, Zach Anikstead is hurt. He won the job coming out of camp last season, but was eclipsed by Tanner Morgan during the hot October-November stretch. And uh, Zanikstead is hurt, out indefinitely with a broken foot. Morgan, 59% completion percentage, nine touchdowns and six picks. But the running back position loaded with Mo Ibrahim, who ran for 1,160 yards and nine touchdowns last year, and he's not even the leading rusher uh, out of the three that they've got. He's number three uh, in career rushing to Rodney Smith and Shannon Brooks. These guys are 23 and 22 years old. They've been around the program forever and typically productive, but they both got hurt last year. Rodney Smith is coming up on 3,000 yards career rushing, 21 touchdowns, and really the only game that he was a significant factor last year because he was out with injury was against Indiana last year, and he hit up the Hoosiers for 154 yards. Shannon Brooks, he has almost 2,000 yards rushing in his Minnesota career and 20 touchdowns. The Golden Gophers' top three wide receivers are back, including one of the best in the Big Ten and Tyler Johnson, who caught 78 passes and 12 touchdowns. They also have Rashawn Bateman and Chris Autumn Bell. Minnesota. How well will they do this year? Well, they certainly need to beat South Dakota State in the opener. They went 4-0 and in non-conference play if you include the bowl game and also the three games in September, including a win against Fresno State. That's their week two trip out to California. But first, they've got to take care of the Jackrabbits. I've got Minnesota winning this game 34-23. to 
Would love to uh, hear your predictions and thoughts on Minnesota football for week one and 2019 right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. And of course, support the channel by grabbing the Amazon link in the description section below. Also, if you love to put a few bucks on the football games, grab the link next to the uh, hashtag Sam Strong. The money goes to a worthy cause and you also get double your money. At betnow.eu, you got to use the promo code MRTVCFB. We'll catch you next time with more previews from week one.